Okay, we will start. Uh, so this is what we are going to do now. Uh, we are going to push or generate uh, loving kindness meditation thought uh, by force and then uh, let it be engaged by the mind repeatedly in affirmation, affirmative way uh, until the new mental image is uh, successful. Well, the idea is that in the body, you now becoming aware of yourself as having body and the mind, the body may be having physical pain and physical diseases. The mind will be having uh, anger, hatred, fear, sorrow. These things are in the mind that is normally hidden and you, you may be still unaware, but they are there. So together, uh, the physical pain and physical diseases in the body and the mental problems like this in the mind, together, all that is called aversive, aversive mental formation. That is a bad one, aversive mental formation. Uh, I'm sure all of you carry this aversive mental formations, although you may be not fully aware yet because you are in the early stages of life. But if these are carried forward towards the middle stages of life and towards the latter stages of life, they become very prominent and they start giving a lot of trouble uh, to your happiness. And that's why the cleansing process must, must be done. And uh, these aversive mental formations, when they are there, uh, combined with unwise attention uh, called ideation, will uh, run in this loop in such a way that aversive mental formation will become successively stronger and stronger. Right? This will grow because so two things combined, aversive mental formation plus unwise attention. These two when combined and repeated, uh, the mind will bend towards aversion or ill will. You know that some people's mind, uh, you may have observed, they have done this many times and they are full of aversion now. And uh, after some time, they cannot be changed within this life. I'm sure you don't want to be like that. And we do exact opposite. What we do is, instead of the aversive mental formation, we replace uh, this part with uh, words like be well, be free from physical suffering. We replace this with uh, free from anger, free from hatred, free from fear, free from sorrow, words like that. So we uh, create certain phrases this way in order to induce that change we want in our visualization. So with the new uh, change, new induced uh, change, uh, physically, uh, physical wellness, health and comfortable uh, condition can be felt. Mentally, the opposite of resentments can be felt. Together, these two, these two together is known as metta mental formation. So we want to, uh, our stage one is aversive mental formation. Stage two is metta mental formation. So that is the change we want to bring about through this meditation. So metta mental formation will be combined with uh, what we call wise attention. So together these two can run through the new loop uh, volitional loop and uh, metta mental formation will become strong and will become a belief and it will relieve a lot of uh, issues uh, relieve the mind from a lot of issues okay then when we do it first we do it to uh, yourself using this kind of phrases uh, this, this too is about the body. 
Well, you can notice these are about the body. These are about the mind. Mind be free from fear, anger, uh, hatred means enmity, sorrow, uh, mental suffering. So this is physical. This is mental. Combined. Physical plus mental, it will be finally uh, fully taking care of uh, yourself. That means your self-image. Right? And then you can extend it to the others. When extending to others, uh, remember these things. It has no conditions associated with it. It means you never check whether the other person or other people deserve uh, your loving kindness or not. Never check that. And uh, not restricted to friends or family. It extends out to all living beings without any condition. And there should be no expectation of anything from them in return. So these are the uh, important conditions when you extend loving kindness to the other living beings. One is never attach it with any conditions, never check whether they deserve it or not, never limit it to friends or family, and encompass all living beings, and never expect anything in return. Is it clear? No conditions attached, no checking of whether anyone will deserve it or not, and encompassing all living beings and expecting nothing in return. With that, you can extend it to all other people in, uh, say, in considering different directions. Not only people, you can include animals. You can include the all living beings, living beings who are visible, who are invisible, or right? without any uh, particular selection. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, it might take about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, we are going to do it and uh, experiment uh, with our mental volitions. In summary, mental volitions are decisions and actions you take. Decisions and actions. So your self-image is a set of decisions you have taken about yourself. Those decisions can be changed to have a new self-image. That is what we are going to do with this meditation. Not only the self-image, image of the others. They are decisions you have already taken. And uh, if any such decision makes some unhappiness in your mind, you better change it. And let's change it using this meditation. Okay, so get ready. Today you can use uh, use any uh, composition, any uh, compost, composition of the body. But from next time, there will be certain uh, body postures recommended to you. Okay, we have now about uh, 30 minutes. Uh, we are going to spend uh, our time meditating during that time loving kindness meditation. So we combine two meditations here. First few minutes, we will be uh, meditating on the body posture, body scan meditation. After that, we will do the uh, metta meditation. Okay, get ready now. Okay, so it will be a guided meditation. So as you like, uh, you can either fully close your eyes or half close your eyes. And allow yourself to relax a little bit. Now, think of 
your body posture. Decide, am I sitting or am I standing, sleeping position or walking position? Which posture is there at this very moment? Come to the decision. After that, scan the posture. Focus from on the top of the head. Then become aware of the total head area. Its shape. Its positioning. Now become aware of the neck. This is the neck. I am feeling that area. Now become aware of the shoulders. Two shoulders. Their orientation. Then the two hands. Two hands. This is the body scan meditation we are doing. Two hands. Scan them using the mind. Feel from the shoulder to the fingertips along both hands. So now you know exactly how the hands are kept. Now scan the front of the body from the shoulders, scan the chest area. Scan means you must start feeling that area, sensing that area. Then uh, sense the belly area. Then the, from shoulders uh, along the back side of the body, scan downwards. Now, scan the hips. Then along the legs. Along the legs, start feeling up to the knees. Then up to the two ankles. Then uh, bottom of the feet and uh, fingertips. Now uh, scan upwards from the bottom of the feet to the top of the head by yourself. Slowly. Let the mind scan upwards the two legs, the hip, and the main part of the body up to the shoulders, two hands, then the neck, and the top of the head, up to the top of the head. So now the face, you feel everywhere on the face now. You can sense two sides of the face, back side of the head, every area you feel now. So here I am, this is my body. It is placed like this now. Then scan the chest area, inside the chest. There is this thought process happening. Just check whether your mind is thinking. Yes, it is. It is thinking of the meditative thoughts now. So now become aware there is this body and there is this mind right here, right now. Here I am. So in the self-image, the body and the mind are now, you are aware about it. Take the body first. I'm going to change the mental formation about the body. Have a decision like that. Suggest to yourself.
May I be free from physical suffering. May I be free from physical suffering. Mama, Nidukvema, Nirogi Vemma. So start feeling, start feeling the whole body has changed now. Free from physical sufferings. Niduk sabave, nirogi sabave, his mother nidala padante. Okay, now. <clears throat> Suggest to yourself, may I be physically well, may I be physically well, may I be happy. So let the physical wellness sweep through the body from top of the head to the bottom of the feet. Now that the body has changed, now pay the attention to the mind. Let's change it. May I be free from hatred. Sielu vaira siti vili. Vaira kyan hite hangila tiyana tara siti vili. Ivatveva. Vaira nette kvemva. May I be free from anger. Taraha siti vili. Me vilave anavashyai siyalla ivatveva. Taraha nette kvemva. Me mohote taraha neti sabave nu inni kila denen narin. May I be free from fear. May I be free from fear. Sielu bia siti vili anavashyai. Me mohote me hiteng ivatveva. Bia nettek vemva kila hitaming. Nirbaya sabave nui me mohote gata venne kila denen narin nui. Next suggest to yourself. May I be free from sorrow. May I be free from sorrow. Experience the mind slowly becoming free from all kinds of grief and sorrow. See you in the Sahagata City Vili. Anamashyai. Sitengi Vattenava. Isabhave Atkindina. May I be free from all mental sufferings. May I be free from all mental sufferings. Sielu manasika dukpida ivatveva ahosiveva dukpida nettekvemma. Now that the mind is also clean, Take the full self image. This is my body. This is the mind, the new formation. May I take care of myself happily. May I take care of myself happily. Me mohate shanta maitri sabaveta patvimma. Shanta maitri sueta patvimma. Let that change happen. Suase jiva tvema. Me mohate suase. Gata karaming inna bhava. Then in narino. 
Okay, let's do it again, this time a little faster. Pay attention to the body and suggest to yourself, may I be free from physical suffering? May I be free from physical sufferings? May I be well and happy? May I be well and happy? Idukni rogi supad bave kaita denino. Then pay attention to the mind. May I be free from hatred? May I be free from anger? May I be free from fear? May I be free from sorrow? May I be free from mental sufferings? May I take care of myself happily? May I take care of myself happily? May I take care of myself happily? Shanta Maitri Sueng me mohata gata venni. Kila dene no. Kaika manasika Maitri Sue sahitava. Sue se me mohata jeevatte no akena. Hengi ima. Ar self image jekata mishra venno ni. Okay, so that new yourself, new self-image of yourself is now clear. Affirm it by re-engaging the mind in the volitional loop. So I am taking care of myself happily now. Right now, right here. Chanta, my three sueta patvemin, suase, jivatveminui, metana gataveni, me mohata gataveni. Kina mental image checker, mental formation, nick on the term, then in narin. Egana godak satuven. Be very happy about yourself. Be very happy about the new yourself. Okay, now it is time to extend it to the others. So let ex let's extend it by areas. There are other methods, but today we choose uh, extending it by area. So uh, visualize all living beings within uh, your premises, within the premises right now. Visualize all the humans all the animals in that area, all other living beings who may not be seen by you, may not be seen by the eye, visualize them, visualize their physical bodies and suggest May they be, be free from physical sufferings. May they be free from physical sufferings. May they be well and happy. May they be well and happy. Now, think of their minds. They are working right now. Their minds are working right now. 
Let's purify them. May their minds be free from hatred. Ayagi sitwali no virus sitwili ivatweva. Vaira netto vetva. May their minds be free from anger. Isitwali no taraha sitwili ivatweva. Itadu pain no ni ay taraha neti vena sabave itu patte no. May their minds be free from fear. May they be free from fear. Be a netto vetva. He will lang eat the limb, be a vatveganiano. May they be free from sorrow. Duk netto vetva. May they be free from mental sufferings. Yat chant maitri suet patvetva. Silman sikaduppi dat ivatveva. May they take care of themselves happily. Yat mangwa game me mohote suase jivita pariharane karatva. Suase tamajivita pariharane karatva. May they all take care of themselves happily. So visualize yourself and visualize all living beings within the premises. All of them, all living beings within the premises, including you, are well and happy, taking care of themselves happily. Let the mind be happy about it. You have changed. You have changed them for good. Now, extend the boundary. Let the mind encompass all living beings in the village or in the town that you live. Identify the boundary. Demarcate all living beings within that boundary, including you. All humans, all animals in that area, and all other living beings. Address their bodies. May they be free from physical sufferings. May they be free from physical sufferings. May they be well and happy. Eagi sarira me mohte sarira ka pida waling nidhasveva niduk nirogi suapadda vetapatveva and visualize that happening. It's very important to visualize that decision happening. Then address their minds and decide like this. May their minds be free from hatred. Isatyo siyallam vairanetto vetva. May they be free from anger. May they be free from fear. May they be free from sorrow. May they be free from mental sufferings. Is it willing to raha vaira baya shoka vage dukpida genadena sitwili siyalla ivatveva.
अहो सिवेवा मे दे टेक केयर ऑफ देम सेल्स हैप्पीली मे दे टेक केयर ऑफ देम सेल्स हैप्पीली शांत मैत्री स्वयं मे मोहते सुहसे जीवित परिहरणे करत्वा इलंगडे तीरने सिद्ध वेनो ये विधि है तो मैं सिद्ध वेनो हितेंद्र किन्नो ने ओके सो आफ्टर दोस मेंटल वॉलेशंस यू नाउ डिसाइड टू एक्सटेंड द बाउंड्री फर्दर टू इनकॉम्पस मोर नंबर ऑफ लिविंग बीइंग्स दिस टाइम लेट द बाउंड्री बी द होल कंट्री whole sri lanka check whether you are addressing all living beings all living beings within sri lanka all sri lankans and all animals those in jungles and in the village and those who could be seen who could not be seen all animals and any other living beings within that boundary of the country visualize them they have bodies they have minds first address their bodies may they be free from physical sufferings kaika dukpida ivatveva e sarira vali may they be well and happy निदुक निरोगी सुपद भावे ट पत्तेत्वा एड्रेस दे आर माइंड्स दोस आर राइट नाउ जेनरेटिंग थॉट्स एंड सजेस्ट टू दैट सजेस्ट टू दोस माइंड्स मे दे आर माइंड्स बी फ्री फ्रॉम हेट्रेड सीएलओ आई रीस इतिविली इस इतवलिंग इवात फैला मेंटल सफरिंग्स विजुअलाइज all of them are now free from physical as well as mental sufferings no hatred in those minds no fear no anger no sorrow they all are taking care of themselves happily may they take care of themselves happily may they take care of themselves happily So, including you, all living beings in Sri Lanka are taking care of themselves happily right now. Me mohante suva se tamajivita pariharne karaming tatkaratva. So let the decision be implemented on the mental formation of all living beings of Sri Lanka. now is i to extend the boundary and encompass more and more living beings this time the whole world whole world all countries all seas all the living beings in the world many humans now you can address in your mind many uncountable animals uncountable other living beings may they be free from physical suffering may they be well and happy may their minds be free from hatred may they be free from anger 
May they be free from fear. May they be free from sorrow. May they be free from all mental suffering. May they take care of themselves happily. May they take care of themselves happily. May they take care of themselves happily. So be very happy about them as well, all living beings in the world, and decide to encompass more and more this time. This time, think of all living beings in all planes of existence. All living beings in all planes of existence in the whole universe. So uncountable number. May they be free from physical suffering. May they be free from physical suffering. May they be well and happy. May they be well and happy. It repaid no ni. Egolang shari recover. Iduk ni rogi. So padba veta parivartane veno. Egana satu to enagama. Now think of their minds. May all living beings be free from hatred. May all living beings be free from hatred. So including you, your mind, the hatred is fading away. May all living beings be free from anger. May all living beings be free from fear. May all living beings be free from sorrow. May all living beings be free from mental sufferings. So now you visualize all living beings, including yourself, completely free now from physical and mental sufferings, resentments, ill will, aversion, all gone. May all living beings take care of themselves happily. May all living beings take care of themselves happily. May all living beings take care of themselves happily. Siluma Satyo, me mohate, Shanta Maitri swing in no adeni no. Suasi tamaji with a pariharane karaming tatakarano. Egana godak satuene. Generate inner happiness about yourself and all living beings in this mental image. Me mohate ita taramuno ilatina tamangsa sielu sattu ingana sattu tueno. Okay, now reconfirming or affirming this new mental image of all living beings, you can spend little time, few minutes, affirming this mental image. Let the mental loop run.
So more and more your mental volitions get engaged in this, more and more inner happiness you can feel. Now the mind is absorbed into the new mental image. No other thoughts are crossing the mind now. So in, by chance, if any other thought try to cross the mind, just disregard them. Engage the mind in this mental volition. Okay. So now decide to make a decision. Uh, I'm going to end this meditation now. Suggest to yourself, I am going to end this meditation now and I am going to slowly open my eyes. I am going to slowly open my eyes. Slowly decide and carry out. And open the eyes. Okay, after opening the eyes, Evaluate the mental status now, status of the mind now, how you feel, and compare it with the status of the mind before this meditation is done. Have a thorough comparison. What is the status now? How do I feel now? And what was the status earlier? How did I feel at that time? And have a thorough comparison. And any difference, you can evaluate. Why, how, how did that difference occur? So likewise, a self-evaluation you can do. Okay. Right, so uh, this is how you do the uh, metta meditation. Uh, it's all about, it's nothing about the future. Uh, all the mental volitions implemented, the, these volitions means decisions. Those decisions are taken right now, right here and implemented right now. And the new mental formation uh, should dawn or should appear in the mind if the decisions are taken that way. Okay, so any uh, doubts or questions uh, we can discuss now. You can ask by voice, feel free, or by chat. Well, I hope you are with me. All have gone silent, why? So many questions came earlier. Okay, until other questions come. Uh, well, about this addiction. Now, once you feel uh, this meditation, suppose you do it for one month, like, then you start feeling a big difference. And uh, that uh, inner happiness, uh, you will uh, appreciate after that. And uh, you may get addicted to that inner happiness and may want to do the meditation uh, daily once that happens. Initially, it may be tough until sufficient practice comes. Uh, you have to do it fairly by force, but gradually 
it will become a habit. And uh, since one of you asked that, will that habit be bad or damaging? Uh, if you get too much addicted into uh, Samatha meditation, this is Samatha. This is about concentration. So later I'm going to discuss with you the absorption states. There are multiple absorption states the mind can be pushed into. Sometimes the amount of pleasure or inner happiness you have in those absorption states could be very addicting. And uh, if you uh, happen to get addicted too much, then again, there are methods to uh, overcome that and bring it back to balance. Right? Uh, when Once you addicted too much, you will notice that your other roles will be affected. Now, there are four roles we are talking about, isn't it? Citizen role, professional role, family member role, and in individual role. Now, too much addiction on this individual role, self-happiness, could damage sometimes or could prevent progress in the other three roles. So be aware about that. Therefore, that question is very important because our uh, happiness index or so, uh, success index of the life is to be achieved in all four roles, not one. So if you make, if you uh, let the individual role dominate all other roles in such a way that the other roles are not performed well, then that's also bad. Therefore that balance, uh, should be achieved. Later, I will highlight how to do that. So that question is very important. One more question is coming. Uh, sir, at what time would you recommend to meditate? In the morning or in the evening? I think a habit can be easy to develop in the morning. Uh, yes, you are correct. Morning, the mind is more pure. Uh, because of the sleep and the rest, the mind has uh, become more clear. Therefore, it may be easier in the morning, but uh, you can't put it as a rule because uh, suppose you have overworked in the previous night and the morning could be sleepy for some of you, not everyone. Therefore, uh, what I would suggest is that you personally choose it uh, find the time of the day where the mind is most relaxed, more free, uh, more clear thinking. That is the best time for the individual. But in general, morning uh, is correct. In general, for, for many, the morning sessions uh, work very well. And also in this question, it's very important that the, if you have a regular time slot, regular time slot for Samatha meditation, then Samatha meditation becomes more effective and you can quickly pick up rather than having doing it irregularly. Right? So what I would suggest is you uh, think of a regular time slot. Okay. Then uh, one more question, can we use this meditation while walking or doing day-to-day -day tasks? Very important question. Yes, mind. So you can do it in all the four postures. You don't need to close the eyes once you uh, practice this sufficiently. You can keep the eyes open because eyes will not disturb your mental volitions anymore after you have developed sufficient amount of skill here. Therefore, this meditation can be done while walking. It's very effective while walking, actually. And it can be done in the sleeping posture. It can be done sitting. It can be done in standing. All four uh, postures, uh, this meditation is possible. But supposing you want to move into absorption state, deeper absorption states of the mind, this can go up to absorption stage three. In that case, sitting with the correct posture is recommended, which I will uh, next time give you the postures, photos, and everything. So is uh, next question, uh, is Zen meditation different from what you taught now? Yes, there are certain differences. 
But in general, the loving kindness meditation uh, is almost same in, in uh, many different varieties of meditation. Uh, but slight differences are there between what I taught and the Zen meditation. Uh, because uh, the full, full range of meditations uh, should be practiced. Full range means mindfulness range, concentration meditation range, and the wisdom meditation range. Usually wisdom, of course, you can postpone to latter parts of the life if you, la if you want. But other two, you can start right now. Uh, but some of us, uh, some of you, who carry merits will be able to start with uh, wisdom meditations. You can't rule out that possibility. Okay, so those are the answers I can give. Well, thanks for all these questions. I think they are very meaningful and very useful uh, for the others also. And I have created two forums in the Moodle page where you can enter such questions because these questions may not come right now. When you practice, when you do the meditation, at that time you might uh, come across certain questions, then just uh, write it down there. Uh, I will try to answer and it will be useful for other uh, peers in the batch as well. It will be a service for the others also. Uh, Udit is asking one more question, sir, should we repeat these meditation statements with imagination or they should be just the imagination? I think very good question. These uh, verses or statements that we use are just support statements. They are not really the, the, the mental uh, formation. They are to support the evolution of the new mental formation. But once you practice sufficiently, you will find that these verses could be uh, more simplified, even can be brought down to a single word, like uh, even a word like suopatveva, can include all this. Therefore, the words, initially this may be little verbose, the meditation may be little verbose with uh, more words, more verses. But as the meditation develop, you will find that you don't need words. It's only the uh, visualization that you require. Uh, thanks, Sudhi. That's very, very good question. Uh, so, and also it's good news, isn't it? Because you don't need to uh, remember the verses and uh, use the words, uh, give the prominence to the words. Of course, words are required, but Minimum of words may be enough finally to get the full uh, absorption to the new mental formation. Uh, one common question some people ask is that how long should I do uh, this kind of a meditation until uh, I reach that level? Well, there is no general rule, but at least one month. Minimum of about one month in a regular time slot and for this meditation, you can spend about 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Within one month, you will find a very good concentration, very good samadhi uh, in your mind. Okay, so the number of words you use is up to you. Even these sentences I gave you, you can change. Uh, the, use the words which are, uh, which are really felt by your mind, because each word is not felt in the same way. Like, for example, the word hatred is used by uh, for wider, then word enmity is also used for the same thing. But for some of you, uh, one of those two words may, fell, may, may be felt more strongly, so use that one. That way, the imagination or the visualization is uh, the more important one than the words. Okay, uh, thank you Udit, for that question. Right, I think uh, the time is up for today. Uh, actually, we did only two meditations. We achieved very little today. 
Uh, we did the body scan meditation uh, very briefly, and I'm going to elaborate on that further next time. But uh, metta meditation, loving kindness, I think we did sufficiently for you to uh, go ahead and uh, start practicing right from right now. So I would suggest you start practicing from today. Uh, then I will put up, set up a journal uh, where you can enter uh, your progress or your thoughts uh, weekly. Uh, and the meditation postures I will be giving next time. Right? Okay, and the uh, first handout I have uploaded, and from, the, from time to time I might upload certain other articles as well uh, for extra reading. In the meantime, if any other questions come, you can just put on the module. There is a forum there, uh, which I will try to answer. Right. Uh, so that's the summary of what we did today. We identified the words like uh, volitions, uh, mental loop, uh, and how to use them uh, in loving kindness. Uh, we did it by example, by demonstrating. Uh, one more question, sir. Are you sharing uh, the slides in the Moodle? Of course, yes. I will share the presentation as well as the video. And uh, of course, uh, from next time, if you want to reduce the amount of time we use for the discussions and uh, increase the time for the question answers, what I can do is I can upload the lecture uh, I did earlier. The recording is there. I can upload so that you can self-study. And the related questions uh, you can ask in the session we do together, where I can elaborate more. I think that might be better, but I want your suggestions for that. You all agree I can upload the lecture recording of the previous year beforehand, before our discussion. What do you think? Okay, I see nothing in the chat, so maybe you are still thinking. All right, so uh, let me know about it, then I will decide based on your suggestions. Okay. Right, so we'll call it a day. Thank you very much. Uh, please have a determination to do practice every day, right? And stay safe. Thank you very much.